This is my method for ripping a DVD and then burning it to a single layer blank disc using free programs DVD Shrink and Image Burn. They do both have advanced features but I shall be using as many default settings as I can for the sake of simplicity. First of all you need a DVD to rip in your DVD drive. If auto run starts, in other words if it starts to play just stop it. Then fire up DVD Shrink. Click on Open Disk and this will show your DVD drive with the DVD in it. If you've got more, more than one DVD drive they'll both be in there but that's just the one. Click OK. Now normally here a uh, preview box will pop up here and while it's analysing the disc it will take a couple of minutes or so but I've already done that to save time. OK. This green line here shows the size that the DVD will finish at when it's ripped. But of course, this is showing is it's small enough for a, a single layer disc, but I want to show you how to shrink it down a bit. If it's a, a much larger one, you can shrink it down to still fit on a single layer. You just need to click this drop down box and change it to custom ratio. Then if you move the slider and watch that figure up there, you'll see it drop down. I'm going to take it down to about 4 gigabytes or so. There you go. Right. Right, next thing to do is just click backup. Right. Now you need to select a target folder for the DVD output files. That just means where you want to save the files to on your disk. Right. Let's have a look what we've got. Libraries. Videos. My videos. That's where I'll save it. You can save it to anywhere you like. It doesn't really matter. Just remember where you save them to. Okay. Then click on to DVD region and make sure that region 3 is ticked. That's just so it will play on any DVD player. OK, back to target. Click OK and it should start. There we go. Now, according to this, it's going to take 23, 19, 17, who knows how long. We'll wait and see. OK, you can see there's about uh, what is it, 27 seconds left to go, according to this. The time taken, of course, is determined by how powerful your computer is. It's taken about 12 minutes on mine, but uh, of course, yours may be longer or shorter. Now, when it's finished, of course, we're then ready to burn it to a blank disk. Here we go, three, two, one. Are you going to finish? There you go. OK. Right. We can close DVD shrink. Take the DVD out of the DVD drive. And replace it with a blank disk. OK. Right, we need to open up the folder with the files in, the DVD files which you've just produced. I saved them in uh, my videos. Okay, let's close, let's close auto room. Right, that'll do. Let's move this over here a bit. And fire up, there they are, audio TS and video TS. There's nothing in audio to yes, but you still need it, just the same. We'll fire out IMG burn. Right. You need to pick right files and folders to disk. Right. Then we'll drag and drop these folders into there. One at a time will do.
OK. Now it's calculated what's actually there. If it doesn't do that, if it doesn't actually calculate it and it, the information you want doesn't come up there, just click File and then click Calculate and that will do it for you. Right. Next, click on to Device and this will show your DVD that's in the DVD drive and the supported right speeds. You have to pick one of those and put it in here. 16 is in here for me, but you may only get 6 or 8 or whatever. But just pick one of those that's supported. Then click Labels and put something in these two ISO 9660 and UDF. Anything will do, but if you don't put anything in, it will moan at you later on, so just do that. OK click back to there and we're ready to go. Just click this disk and that should start the process. OK, click OK and we're away. If you want to click the eject tray there, it'll eject it when it's done and play a little tune when it's finished. And that's all about all there is to it. OK, back again. As you can see, not long to go. Uh, it's took, uh, taken about five minutes to burn it. And uh, hopefully it should eject my disc and play a little tune when it's finished. Closing track. Finalising disc. Ejecting tray. There we go. And that's all there is to it, really. If you do need to rip a DVD with much more sophisticated protection, you will need a more advanced program to do it. But uh, a simple stuff DVD shrink is fine.